Most people think of meteorites as just lifeless space rocks, but what if I told you that scientists have cracked open some of these space travelers only to find things that should not exist, things that move, things that grow, and things that might even be alive. From strange fossils embedded in alien rock to mysterious structures that resemble cells, this is not science fiction. These are real discoveries that have left experts terrified, and the rest of us wondering, are we alone, or have we already been visited by something alive. In 1996, something deeply unsettling was pulled from the skies over India. A meteorite had struck in a village, and when scientists retrieved it, they discovered something bizarre. When broken open, the meteorite appeared to bleed. Red fluid slowly seeped from the cracks in the stone, thick, almost like blood. This definitely wasn't normal. Testing showed the fluid wasn't any sort of iron rust or mineral oxidation. It had biological markers, proteins and structures not usually found in rocks. The scientists couldn't explain it. Some speculated it was ancient microbial life reacting to Earth's atmosphere. Others believed it might be some form of extremophile life frozen in space and awakened by the heat of entry. To this day, the bleeding meteorite has never been fully explained. And and it raised the disturbing question, what kind of life could survive drifting through space? In 1984, scientists in Antarctica discovered a meteorite buried deep in the Allen Hills region. It didn't really look like much at first, but after years of study, they confirmed it had come from Mars. Then things got even weirder. In 1996, NASA scientists studying this meteorite found tiny tube-shaped structures inside the rock. Under a microscope, they looked identical to fossilized bacteria. Not similar, identical. The meteorite also contained magnetite crystals that on Earth are usually formed by microbes. The discovery rocked the scientific world. The president at the time, Bill Clinton, even gave a national address about the potential discovery of extraterrestrial life. The debate continues to this day. Some experts say the structures are geological, not biological, but others insist the meteorite might hold the first evidence of life beyond Earth. Ancient Martian microbes fossilized and frozen in stone, quietly drifting through space for thousands of years. When a massive fireball exploded over Murchison, Australia in 1969, locals rushed to collect the strange black stones that fell from the sky. But the real horror began when scientists started analyzing what was inside. The meteorite reeked. It had a strong, nauseating odor, something like rotten eggs or burning chemicals. But even more shocking was what researchers found under the microscope. Over 70 different amino acids, many of which don't even exist on Earth. These are the fundamental building blocks of life. Even more disturbing, the meteorite also contained uracil, one of the components of RNA the cousin to DNA. This was not just a rock. It was a delivery capsule for organic material, possibly even from another solar system. Scientists believe the Murchison meteorite is over 4.5 billion years old and may have helped seed Earth with the very molecules needed for life to begin. But if it brought life, what else might it have brought? In 2012, something rained from the sky in Sri Lanka, and it wasn't just a meteorite. Witnesses in the town of Palinarua described a blinding light followed by a strange, jelly-like fragment scattered across the area. When scientists got their hands on the pieces, they were stunned. Inside the meteorite were tiny microfossils, similar to diatoms, single-celled organisms made of silica. But here's the even creepier part. Some of them were still intact and appeared to be from species that didn't match any known Earth forms. Professor Chandra Wickramasinghe, a controversial but respected astrobiologist, claimed the meteorite provided, quote, strong evidence for extraterrestrial life. The samples were tested in multiple labs and results confirmed the microfossils weren't contamination. They came from the rock itself. If that is true, then this meteorite didn't just carry traces of life, it carried organisms from somewhere beyond our planet. In 1911, a meteorite from Mars exploded over Nakla, Egypt. 
The terrifying part? According to eyewitnesses, one piece struck and instantly vaporized a dog. While this part of the story has become something of a legend, what is inside this meteorite is very real and very strange. Scientists analyzing the rock found pockets of salty brine and clay-like material evidence that water once existed wherever the rock formed. Then in 2006, researchers found carbon-rich globules that looked like they had been formed by biological processes. These tiny structures resembled microbial remains, suggesting Mars might have once harbored life. Even weirder, when some of the material was rehydrated in the lab, it began reacting in unpredictable ways. Some scientists even joked that the rock was, quote, waking up, a Martian rock that once made may have supported life and possibly still reacts to water, that is straight out of a sci-fi horror movie, alright? I've seen the aliens. In 2000, a blazing object tore across the skies of Canada and exploded over Tegish Lake in British Columbia. What made this meteorite so terrifying wasn't just its pristine condition, it's what was locked inside. Recovered just hours after the fall, this meteorite was packed with organic compounds. But the truly eerie discovery was the presence of hollow, bubble-like spheres, structures that looked remarkably like cell walls. They weren't alive, but they were organized in a way that resembled biological processes. Some researchers even found left-handed amino acids, the same type used by life on Earth. Why does that matter? Because if these molecules naturally formed in space with the same orientation as Earth biology, it hints that life in the universe might not be so different after all. Or worse, maybe it came from the same place. In 1864, a meteorite exploded over a city in France, showering the countryside with black, carbon-rich stones. This was long before we had microscopes powerful enough to look inside them, but in 1965, a shocking discovery made headlines. A Soviet scientist claimed to have found a fully preserved cell inside the meteorite. It looked like a seed pod, complete with a tough outer shell and internal structure. To him, it was proof of life beyond Earth. But then came the backlash. Other scientists accused him of tampering with the sample or being tricked by Earth contamination. Yet this meteorite remains one of the most complex carbonaceous chondrites ever discovered. It contains sugars, amino acids, and even chemical compounds used used in modern cell membranes. Whether or not that alien seed was real, the fact that a meteorite from space contains ingredients for life should be more than enough to lose sleep over. In 1996, an Egyptian geologist discovered a strange stone in the Libyan desert. At first it didn't look like much, but when scientists analyzed it, they realized it wasn't from Earth or even from our solar system. The Hypatia stone, as it was later called, contains chemical elements and micro structures that don't match anything we've ever seen. Some of the materials seem to predate the sun itself, but even more disturbing, it contains polymers and bubble-like inclusions that resemble organic matter. No known process could have created these patterns in the vacuum of space unless they were part of something more complex, possibly biological. The stone defies our understanding of how planets form. Some researchers believe it came from a supernova explosion, carrying with it the dust and maybe the life of an entirely different star system. In 1938, a meteorite struck the ground in Tanzania. Known as the Ivuna meteorite, it's one of the rarest types ever recorded. Classified as a CI carbonaceous chondrite, it has a creepy secret. It smells alive. When freshly broken, this meteorite reportedly gives off a strong odor, like warm asphalt mixed with ammonia and burnt flesh. Scientists believe the smell comes from complex organic compounds, but the meteorite also contains water, amino acids, and even fullerenes, spherical carbon molecules that could theoretically house microscopic life. Some researchers believe these may have acted like life pods, trapping noble gas or even microbial life during their journey through space. This sample is so sensitive that scientists handle it in clean rooms with extreme caution because whatever's inside, they're not sure it's completely inert. 
A Tissant meteorite crash landed in Morocco in 2011 and it's one of the most important Martian rocks ever recovered. When scientists studied it, they found something that made their skin crawl. Tiny fissures lined with carbon compounds that looked like they were left behind by organic activity. Some of these carbon traces resembled corrogan, the kind of material formed by decomposing life on Earth. Others hinted at hydrothermal systems, meaning water and heat had flowed through the rock. Conditions perfect for microbial life. This meteorite didn't just come from Mars, it came from an area that might have once been habitable. If life existed on Mars millions of years ago, this meteorite may have carried the residue of that life all the way to Earth. And if microscopic Martians once lived in these cracks, who's to say something didn't survive the trip? Alright guys, that has been our list for today. Thanks so much for checking it out. I've been your host today, Olivia Kozlowski, and I will see you again soon. Goodbye.